uh, Sarah Lawrence is a very unusual place uh, to go to school. You have an opportunity to do a lot of independent study. Um, I focused initially on classical, uh, classical philosophy, anthropology, and toward the end of my uh, toward the end of my sophomore year, I decided that I should take one course in science, and I decided that that course would be inorganic chemistry, so I could understand how things work. Why is the sky blue? How do you make antifreeze? What is the boiling point of water? All these things which I considered part of a classical education. And I became so intrigued uh, by one of my professors there uh, that I decided to go deeper. And before I knew what was happening, I was studying biology and physics, and I'd shifted my emphasis uh, to the point where I began to look at the, the possibility of doing work in medicine. And that's one of the remarkable things about the place, is that you have a lot of flexibility. I took filmmaking, I took theater, all of which has been very useful uh, in, in developing ways in which you can present scientific information and make it more accessible. One of the most difficult things in science is to convey uh, what it is you've learned to a general audience. And Sarah Lawrence taught me how to speak in simple sentences, how to use graphics, how to present information in a way that makes it accessible and understandable to a wide range of people. Additionally, there's a focus on creativity. And uh, in science, we have people who focus on what we call data gathering, collecting large amounts of information, and there are others who really try to break paradigms. This is another advantage, I think, to a, a liberal arts education like the one you get at Sarah Lawrence. You learn how to approach things from a different variety of different vantage points and uh, get to places you wouldn't otherwise go. If you really want an education, you want to be able to uh, enrich your life not only in the next four years, but in the years that follow. Sarah Lawrence is an ideal place. We don't have the typical sort of learning paradigms where you focus on you know, studying for a particular test, mastering a certain amount of information. You learn how to learn. And this is really the most valuable because the half-life of so much of what we learn, particularly in science, is about five years. So unless, unless you're committed to continual learning and to that process, uh, you're going to be left behind very rapidly. And this is a world which is evolving rapidly, socially, culturally, scientifically, economically, and it's important to be light on your feet.